Hey all, welcome to this week's top 10 list here at the CIOPCC, the Crawford Institute of Pop Culture Collectibles. This week I'm going to do a top 10 favorites of the uh, uh, Justice League Unlimited figures. These are the 5 inch figures based on the animated shows. Uh, and I'm going to pick my top 10. Now, there are a lot of figures in this series. I've already done a collection video to give you some idea of uh, what's here and what's available. But today I'm going to do my top 10. So, let's start with number 10. I'm actually doing these in order. It's going to be a female figure here, Livewire. Now, we never got a good Livewire in any of the other lines. Not in the Batman animated series lines. And not in the Superman animated series lines where you would have thought she might have shown up. So it was nice to finally get her in this Justice League Unlimited line, and I think they did a really nice job. Speaking of Superman, I'm not a huge Superman fan, but I do love Bizarro. I love the concept, I love the execution, he's just a great figure. So my number nine is going to be Bizarro in this series. It's a great look for him. Number eight is Doomsday. Speaking of Superman again. So Doomsday, they came in two color variations. You've got that one there. And you've got this one over here in the more fiery look. Personally, my favorite is this one. Your mileage may vary. I know a lot of people like that more fiery uh, look on him. Number seven on my list is another female figure. This time, it's another one that we probably should have gotten a lot sooner than this line, Amanda Waller. Now with her becoming more important with the Suicide Squad movies, I suspect we'll actually get to see her more often, perhaps, in some of these other lines. But here we got her in the uh, animated version, and a really nice, done, uh, nicely done version as well. I'm a big fan of the character Gorilla Grodd. I like smart gorillas anyway. So we're going to walk around this side, and we're going to see that version come in at number six. He's still back there in the package with his buddies. There's Gorilla Grodd, a nice big gorilla figure. Now, usually I like Gorilla Grodd more than Ultra Humanite. I like the character better. But this time, I'm telling you, I really do prefer Ultra Humanite. There's something about the sculpt. Uh, I think they did a really nice job with this. I and mean, he could use a few more paint ops, but uh, otherwise, he's pretty sweet. Coming in at number four is a cowboy. I love cowboys. And this cowboy is Vigilante, of course. He looks great, he's fantastic. He's a smooth cowboy. If any of you know how much I love collecting Western action figures, well, it's not surprising he's number four. Coming in at number three is a Comic-Con exclusive, Solomon Grundy. Now, the figure itself is terrific. It's a great version of Grundy. But the packaging was also really pretty cool. You pulled a tab on the front, and uh, those uh, plastic uh, pieces to the side looked like a sewage flowing out of the pipes, and it would rattle around. It was, it's pretty cool. That leaves us with two more. Number two is going to be, should be a favorite of everybody because, you know, it kind of is us. It is Toy Man. I was pretty shocked that we ever got a figure of this character. He's not like he's the most popular villain in the world, but I thought he was really great and they did a nice job on the animated look. So he comes in in that coveted silver spot in the number two spot. But number one, Easily my favorite out of this entire line is Lobo, right here in front of him. Great looking figure. This was another one I'm pretty sure he was a Comic-Con exclusive. Uh, he's a great looking figure. Really well done. Now I only have like three Lobo figures in my entire collection. Uh, and all three of them are just exceptional. I'm really looking forward to 112 Collective getting around and releasing a Lobo figure. So that's it for my top 10 of the Justice League Unlimited figures. Of course, with all the figures that are in this series, it varies all the time. Although I don't think my number one's likely to ever fall. Let me know what your favorites are in the Justice League Unlimited figures. And I will talk to you later this week. Have a good one.